In this video, we are going to show how to add questions to your videos in Edpuzzle. So we're going to open up our Edpuzzle account. And the first thing that we'll need to do is make sure that we have videos in our account. You can upload your own videos or you can add them from uh, the left with content already in Edpuzzle. We have our video that we have added from YouTube here. And so we are ready to edit it. So you can click on it to edit or you can click the little checkbox and then choose the edit option here at the bottom. And you can cut your video, which we have already done in our prior um, YouTube video. And then you can add a voiceover and then questions. So you can choose to add multiple choice questions that Edpuzzle will grade for you, open-ended questions, or you can add notes to your video. So we're gonna add an open-ended question here um, at, for our video. So you can uh, type in whatever you would like for your open-ended question. And then when we save that, it is going to be wherever we were in the video. So if you haven't started your video yet, it's just going to add it to the beginning. You can drag your questions to a new part in the video. So we've dragged our question here and we are going to leave it there. Then as you move through the video, you can pause at different parts and add a new question. We're going to add a multiple choice question here at this part in the video. And again, multiple choice questions, Edpuzzle will grade for you as students uh, fill out those questions in their videos. So you do need to uh, set the correct answer when you type in your choices. So we're going to fill these out. You can even add some answer feedback for students. If you click that little feedback button on the right corner, uh, you can click add another answer choice at the bottom and continue to add those as needed. And so we're gonna click on the X and the check to choose our correct answer and then click save. So we have a multiple choice there. You can always go back and click on it and edit it. We're going to continue and move forward and add a new question. So again, you just have to click on the different type of question that you want, input your question and then click continue. And so we have our uh, next open-ended question and moving forward in our video. And so all you have to do is again, click on a part of the video that you want to add a question, click on the question and add it. And then you can drag forward wherever you'd like that question actually to land. Like we want this one to be at the very end of our video. And so we've got that, we can um, finish our video. You can always go back again and edit. You've got your uh, questions listed on the left side. You can click that pencil to edit your questions. And then um, we're gonna add a note now that we have our questions in here. We'd like our video to start with a note. So if we click on the note option, um, you may have noticed also that there have been some uh, editing features, formatting features here along the top row when you um, type in a question or an answer for a question. And so you can format your questions. You can add images or links. You can have clickable links in your uh, questions or notes. So we are gonna actually add an image. You can upload your own or you can copy the image address or URL. And then you'll definitely want to change the width and the height so that it is smaller and it fits in your note. If you don't change that, it will be too big and it will be very hard to see in the note. So you'll definitely want to make that uh, width and height smaller so it can fit. And then you can change formatting um, here and you can add a subscript and superscript for um, math and chemistry right there. You can even click on the functions option for equation editor. So you can add in full math equations in Edpuzzle, which is a really awesome feature. So now you can see we've got our note with our image embedded that is viewable and that is at the beginning of our video. You can add notes throughout just like you do questions. Click finish and now our video is ready to assign.